I'm not even gonna hold y'all. You might want to go ahead and pour you up a glass of wine. This was actually supposed to be a whole entire vlog, you guys. <sighs> So before we jump into this vlog slash life update and haul video, it's giving three in one, honey. I wanted to quickly thank Anna Louisa for sending me over these beautiful, beautiful jewelry pieces that I'm actually wearing in today's video. All of the pieces featured in today's video are from Anna Louisa. My earrings, my beautiful rings, and this bracelet are from Anna Luisa. If you are not new here to my channel, you guys already know about Anna Luisa and how much I rave about them on my channel. I absolutely love their jewelry pieces. Super great quality. Lately, I have been into silver, so I'm really enjoying these silver pieces that I have in today's video. Love these rings. Super minimalistic, which is something that I actually love. Less is more, I say it all the time. Love these beautiful silver earrings. The bracelets is giving what it's supposed to. I've actually had this chain link bracelet for a while now, you guys. And I've actually have been wearing these rings over the past couple weeks on and off. And pretty much these rings have not tarnished. I have literally been washing my hands with them too, girl. They have not tarnished. I love that they have a carbon footprint. And I also love that I decided to get silver and try all silver pieces this time. I feel like silver and gold looks good on my skin tone, honey. I can do either or period. And coming up right now on their website, they have their Valentine's Day sale, which is going to be perfect for the Lover's Day holiday. So you can pick something out for your special someone, whether it's your mom, girlfriend, whoever that special someone is, sneaky link in your life, you can have something um, for them. And, and I love it. Like these pieces are super gorgeous, beautiful, long wearing, great quality, you guys. Like and Louisa gonna hit every time. Anna Louisa definitely gets their tens across the board. More than likely, if I am not wearing pieces that are from my jeweler, I am wearing Anna Louisa jewelry. So, shout out to them. Make sure you guys head on over to shop on their website. Everything will be linked down in my description bar below, so check that out. Let me take the first sip before we even get started. Before we jump into what's been going on in my life, I wanted to say Happy New Year to you guys for the third time. Merry Christmas. And I am just super excited to see what the year 2024 is going to bring for me, going to bring for you guys, my YouTube channel, um, my journey here on this earth, my life, all of that. And y'all already know I'm not super big on like New Year's resolution or saying I'm going to do a certain thing, saying I'm going to do that. Even vision boards, I actually wanted to do one this year. Um, me and Ken were actually going to do one, but we waited till we got too far pretty much from the new year. So we said, don't even worry about it. But for 2024, I just want to see where God takes me. I'm following the yellow brick road, honey. I don't know what's next. I'm just going to continue to be consistent. Well, be consistent and be more consistent than I was in 2023 here on YouTube. Spend more time taking time to do the things that make me happy and just doing the things that I love um, in my life in general I love what I do and I want to do it more I want more vlogs I want more um, maintenance content here on my channel um, I want to know what you guys want to see from me so also comment down down below so that I'll know for this year I just want to do new things and with everything that I do I want it to be meaningful I want it to um, be purposeful I want it to have intent so everything that I do in life, no matter what it is, I just want it to be um, intentional and I want it to bring me peace. I want it to make me happy. So that's pretty much my little spiel for the 2024 year. Just consistency, being intentional and being better than I was in 2023 and just growing. This is my last year in my 20s. You guys know I'll be 29 and literally today's January 17th. So, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Five days, girl. I'm really excited about that. Um, for my birthday, I really don't have much planned. But whatever I do, of course, I'm going to bring you guys along with me. We're going to start off a fresh new vlog. Let's get into the tea. So, I was actually supposed to upload a vlog at the end of 2023. 
it was basically what I did for New Year's, what I did for Christmas, pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, just some new ideas and some new things that you guys can expect to see here on my channel and just kind of get your input on stuff. Then I also did another vlog basically showing you guys pretty much things that I've hauled, things that I've got for Christmas and just a casual vlog, me going back to the gym for the first time, me going back to the gym again this year. Ken and I also had like a little game night in there. It just had a lot of good content, a lot of good substance, and I dropped a lot of gems in that video. But nevertheless, um, I digress. <laughs> so basically, um, that memory card corrupted and I lost all of that footage. Thankfully, um, I did not lose the footage to the video that you guys are going to see Friday um, from Love Me Hair. Y'all already know I love them. I did lose some content that I was supposed to film for Anna Luisa, so I am going to go ahead and insert that into this portion of the vlog or just this vlog in general. So thank God I did not lose like the really, really, really important content. All of it was important nevertheless, but thank God I did not lose that. And I always try to see the good in things, you guys. I'm like, maybe God didn't want me to upload that. Maybe it was something like, I don't know. So I try not to look at it as like an L. I'm trying to look at it as like an M, okay? Period. So moving forward, I am over talking about this whole subject and me losing the memory card and everything that's been going on in my life, you guys. Honestly, I'm just ready for a fresh new start and maybe that's exactly what I needed by just starting over and losing that content and just creating another whole video. Life update. When I tell y'all, being a homeowner ain't built for the week, honey. It ain't built for the weak and kind hearted. You got to be four tough built over here in this business if you want to be a homeowner. Do you understand that part? Both arms crossed. Like, I am the realtor. How you talking about? Yeah. But anyways, um... I'm trying so hard not to be all over the place in this vlog because like I said, I want my content to be intentional. But I do want to just update you guys about some things that have been going on in my life, honey. Let's talk about this house. Let's start with the, the AC, the, the heat and cooling. Y'all know the little conditioner thing. I think that's the air conditioner unit. That's what it's called. Outside the house, when I tell y'all I don't have no clue in the world about nothing about no house and no car, no clue in the world, okay? Shout out to um, the, the handyman, the people that I have in my life. Shout out to Glenn because when I need something, he is always there, y'all. Um, but... Especially when it's something that I have not a clue in the world. Okay? I'm just a girl. I'm, yeah. I'm just a girl. When I say that, I meant that. I mean that. So basically, a piece on there had to be replaced. So, that was a pretty price ticket. Okay? It was definitely in the thousands. And I also had to um, end up getting additional home coverage. Like, home insurance over my home. Just to cover, like, things that weren't covered. Um, before um, like I guess like appliances and stuff like that and I also um, got an extended warranty on my car as well so girl if my mama call me one more time I'm gonna call you back girl because y'all don't have to get this stuff off of this little brain of mine while it's on there because if not like it's already all over the place and this my mama keep calling is making it extra let me get a sip of wine so I can get it bring it back on in and digress <laughs> Having those added to my monthly expenses is another ticket, okay? It's another bill, so add me on up. Got that fixed, because girl, it was hot as hell. I literally had to go stay with my sister and my mom for like three days, because I was not having it up in here. That's when the weather was um, uh, a lot warmer, so that's something I've experienced so far. Now, in the beauty room, the um, hot comb fell on the floor. It burnt a hole in my carpet about this big. I got to get that fixed, girl, because I want to be like the white people, okay? No shade, no pun intended, but one thing about the white people, they take care of their homes and keep their homes up to date. The wood floors are going to be up to date. The paint is going to be up to date, which is another project that I want to work on this summer is just pretty much painting my whole house, doors, all that stuff, especially the casing room, girl, because listen, my walls are white, so... 
if you know and you have a son then you know there are a few shingles on my roof that are missing and my roof is new girl and ain't nobody got time to be adding no roof ticket to the price and i ain't even been in this house five years listen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call um i need to go in my closet and get all my stuff out call them and see if somebody can come out here and put some more shingles on the roof. I think it's like two or three shingles missing. It's nothing too crazy. But I like to deal with things as they come to me. Because if not, I will forget them. Then I had to replace like the little where you flushed it on the toilet, y'all. Like the toilet girl. That thing, I guess it was like bent or something. I had to replace that. Taking the top off the toilet, I put it up against the wall. The top of the toilet slid on the floor, girl. The top of the toilet seat is now what? broken half so my original toilet top is 85 dollars i ain't paying no 85 dollars i'm gonna see if i can go to home depot or lowe's or find like a universal top cover or something like that and i'm gonna get that replaced i also need to get toilet seat covers well not covers but new toilet seats um for me and Casey's bathroom because i guess with me cleaning it like with the bleach and stuff it just kind of eventually messes up the wood on the toilet i don't know comment down below what y'all used to clean y'all toilets with because obviously I'm doing it all wrong so those are some projects that i have to get completed between now and summer we have four months um until the summer break which i'm excited about because i get a lot of things done during the summer months when school is not in let's talk about the car i believe the last time we talked i had to get new tires for my car which was a nice little thousand dollar ticket then i had to get the dent bent um like taken out of my rim girl that was a little another little pretty penny too i also got the extended warranty which is something that i actually needed on my vehicle especially if you have a luxury vehicle y'all already know okay luxury vehicles come with luxury price tags and i also just went up to bmw i want to say that was like sometime last week i went there originally for an oil change and said i need a brake fluid flush end up getting a brake fluid flush girl my ticket was about three hundred dollars okay and at that point i'm like you know what i already got to get brakes too which was another i don't even know how much girl like it was super expensive Whew. It's making my head hurt talking about it and reliving it, girl. But at that point, I'm like, you know what? Just keep the BMW. You know what? We're going to leave it here. We're going to just go ahead and trade it back in for that badass Nissan that I had. How about that? Don't even worry about it. Keep it. Just kidding. I love my car, y'all, even though I knew what I was signing up for when I got the car. I see you dancing in the background. You're supposed to be doing your school work. And you're supposed to be online. Y'all see what I have to deal with? And not to mention yesterday, he sleep. I'm in here logged in on his schoolwork, y'all, on his computer, answering the questions to his schoolwork while his teacher, well, his counselor teaching while he in there sleeping like a baby. But I be damn while I let my baby get a zero, okay? Hmm. That's my little run run. That's my Dennis the Menace. Because good God, he gives that sometimes. Then I had the flu. Kason had the flu. I was definitely not in the mood to vlog at all, you guys. I was super, super down. Super sick. All of that. Like, Kason did so much better than I did. Then my nephew had it. Then my sister had it. Like, it's just been passed around pretty much between houses. And when I tell y'all that strain of flu is worse than COVID, way worse than COVID. And I've had COVID twice, by the way. I think that's all I have to say when it comes to just life update in general. My favorite part where I get to put you guys on, and if you guys have been trying out some new products or think that I would be interested in some new products that have come out, comment them down below and let me know, okay? Because just like I put y'all on, I want y'all to put me on. I do want to mention that nothing that I have to show you guys in today's video pretty much has its original packaging because like I said, this is my third time filming this portion of the video and at this point, it is what it is. I want to put y'all on. That's the most important part. So let's do it. Let's start with the House of Juicy. This is the Juicy Couture. Ooh, or is it ooey? Ow, I don't know. But girl, it smells so good. I love the color. This is a perfect Valentine's Day gift. It's pink and um, red for the packaging. I love the way that it smells, you guys. It's super fruity. Um, it's sweet like candy. Like this is just a my kind of perfume. 
I love very feminine, fresh, fruity, and floral scents. So this right here is literally right up my alley. It also came with the body cream as well, which I have been loving paired together. Sticking with the House of Juicy, I have this Juicy Couture fragrance, and this is their Gold Couture version. I love Gold Couture out of all of the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicies. This one is my absolute favorite. This fragrance just smells so good. It's so sweet. It's so sticky. It smells like caramel, vanilla, sandalwood. All of my favorite vanilla like sweet notes, this has it. And this is just a beautiful, sexy, sexy scent. And let me tell you, honey, if you wear this, your man, your boo, your woman, whoever, honey, is going to want to eat you up. You wear this, Juicy Couture Gold Couture, you're going to get swallowed up okay swallowed have you ever been swallowed up because that's what you're gonna get if you wear this <laughs> the next fragrance i have from juicy couture is just the original juicy couture viva la juicy i believe this one is a um nostalgic one to me growing up my mom used to always wear this fragrance so i honestly just bought this just so i can actually keep it and have it in my collection i'm not really sure if it's one that i'm going to wear a whole lot i just want to keep it just because um, it's one of the first fragrance like my mom actually like sprayed on me from her collection So it just means so much to me and I just always want to have this in my collection because it reminds me of my mom This next fragrance I have is C by Georgie Armani and this is just the original C This smells so good. I love this scent for the um, fall and winter months. It's super sweet just like a um, the perfect classy autumn fragrance like it gives what a classy girl like myself if i do say so myself smells like during the fall and winter months it just smells really good i feel like you can wear this one so many different occasions you can wear this to a wedding you can wear it to work you can wear it um on a date night like there this this fragrance just serves so many different purposes and this bottle is super beautiful this one is mac to aquatic and this is actually the huge bottle they actually had this along with the um, mac rollerball um at belt and also on the mac website they probably still have it so if you want to get this check it out because it's originally 79 dollars for both of these you can get both for 59 i got it even cheaper because y'all know i am the queen of coupons and rewards okay so this it just smells like the original um mac to aquatic i still want to get my hands on the i think it's candy yum yum or like another one that a lot of people say smells really good but I love, love, love the bottle on this girl. It gives beach vibes. It gives vacation. It gives Jamaica. Speaking of Jamaica, I am so upset about that because I was actually supposed to be going in February, but the trip ended up getting pushed back to maybe June or July. That's another story for another day, okay? When I go to Jamaica, I guess I'm going to take this one with me because it gives summer, smells so good, like fresh clean beachy airy like it just smells really really good this next one is Nicki minaj pink friday this is just the original pink friday i want to get my hands on pink friday too but i do believe they have it at jc pennies but the last time i checked which was about a week ago they were sold out um if you have that one let me know how it smell girl but this smells so good um, I just feel like I wanted to have this one in my collection as well just because I know that her new album came out and I really do like this scent. Every time I go into TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross, I always see the body spray for this one and that's which is my most favorite one. So I feel like I needed to have a actual bottle of the fragrance. So I went ahead and bought this one. Coach Dream Sunset is another good fragrance. I actually picked this one up for my aunt as well. So this was a Christmas gift for her, but I also did not feel right without getting it for myself. It's actually a fragrance that I have been looking at for a while now, and I finally <sighs> purchased it. Now I did get this fragrance off Fragrance X or Fragrance Net, and it actually is a tester bottle. It has it on here. I'm gonna peel it off after I'm done um, filming this video. The testers can sometimes be missing a top or cap, and they can also not come in the original box of the fragrance, but honestly, I no longer haul or keep the boxes because they just 
uh keep up dust and honey i don't even like the dust anyway so no we throw the boxes out so i never feel like i'm missing out or losing because more than likely all of the testers that i've received actually came with the top but if you know it's like a cute top or a special top or something that you actually want then i would just say to go ahead and not get the tester but other than that girl don't be afraid to purchase the tester i love this one you guys this fragrance is so nostalgic to me is it gonna focus honey okay there we go I also got a new camera coming on the way okay that's one of my christmas gifts as well this fragrance is nostalgic i used to love wearing this fragrance in high school oh in junior high school y'all know when you smell a perfume or a scent and it brings back like memories this one definitely has some memories attached to it if you know then you know high school junior high school girl girl please you know we're gonna go ahead and put this on because i actually don't even have on a perfume today oh this smells so good just a little bit because we in the house but i wanted to have this one in my collection this fragrance screams berries it's fresh it's fruity i love it one of the first perfumes that i actually own and actually really love fun fact about me in school my sister was a jordan kind of girl nike kind of girl i was the coach ed hardy kind of girl okay if it was coaching ed hardy from the shoes to the purses i wanted it lately i have been loving the house of mugler so i call oto or sephora um and they actually corrected me i think it was mugler mugler i don't know but this is the alien goddess and you guys already know i actually have this one in my collection but i really have been into the house of mugler lately mugler and this is a two fluid ounce bottle that's how much i love this one is i had to go ahead and get me another one this fragrance smells so good it's perfect for the summer months you guys if you know the smell or like the smell of sunscreen you definitely would like this fragrance but if you don't like the smell of sunscreen then you probably won't i also got this angel fragrance from the house of mugler as well this is just a 0.8 ounce and this one is the angel elixir and it comes in this beautiful star i'm so glad i get to add another star to my collection so so far actually had all three of these butter drops by Fenty Skin for I believe $58 or something like that. I had to get my hand on them and try them. This one is the Vanilla Dream Shimmering which was limited edition. This one was also limited edition. This was the Warm Cinnamon Shimmering one and this one has been my favorite lately like i'm going to wear this one or these two just in general a lot more because they have the shimmering to them i wore this one on new year's and i absolutely loved it i have the full size one on the way and this one is just my favorite for the winter months because it really keeps my skin hydrated and as i'm about to enter my 30s you guys next year i just want to really take care of my skin it leaves such a beautiful glow on the skin especially for my brown girls my caramel butter pecan milky way girl dark chocolate girls your skin is going to eat that one up and then i picked up the full size on this one i'm just waiting on my full size for the um oh, shimmering one and this actually smells really good um super sweet all of them smell good but this one literally smells like a cinnamon bun a pretzel a bakery some butter literally butter Rihanna did her big one with those. I can't even cap you down. I can't even hold you. I absolutely love the Sol de Janeiro. Y'all know my baby bought this um, for me. And all the Boom Boom Creams are really, really good. I say Boom Boom Cream for the summer months and Fenty Skin Butter Drops for the winter months. That's what it gives because Sol de Janeiro is not really um, heavy. The, the creams are not super thick. Um, not to say they don't moisturize, but they're just a lot lighter creamier formula than the fancy this eats in the winter try the fancy skin y'all it's so good i picked up the fancy skin lip recovery mask and this one's in the shade cherry barbados i love this this literally has been by my bedside since i've got it on my nightstand i swear by this when my lips are dry and i'm in bed or um as a part of my night time routine this is what i put on my lips before i go to bed i wake up in the morning this stuff is still on my lips i actually got the duo pack that they had for christmas which came with the vanilla one but i end up giving the vanilla one to ken's mom and she is a vaseline kind of girl when i tell y'all she even loved this she loves it herself but she has a vanilla one um i can't really speak on that one but the cherry one i love the color love the tint even though nobody's seeing my lips at night like that but I like what I like. 
I also wanted to get my hands on the trio. Well, is it trio? No, it's not. It was just like a little double. Um, it came with the peach or the pink one. I don't know what flavor it is. Mango or something, girl. But I end up only getting this one and I already have all of the pretty much Dior lip oils and I wanted to try Fenty. Anything Fenty is good anyway, especially their lip products. I have big lips, girl. These big ass lips. I appreciate the big doe foot applicators, even with the Dior lip oil because, okay, my lips are beautiful and big, honey. I need something that's going to get it on there, stay on there, and be moisturized. The last one I have to mention from Fenty is this Fenty Beauty Ice. I love to layer this, put my Blitz Tech underneath, and put this one on top. When I go outside and it's so cold, y'all already know, my lips feel so cool. I love the effect. It gives kind of like Carmex vibes. Um, or Blizz Tech vibes times 10. I just really enjoy this one for the winter months and half of mine is damn near gone. And if you are in Alabama or in the South in general, y'all already know it has been freezing cold these past two days. I'm out of work and Kaysen's also out of school. That's how cold it's been. Hold on tight, y'all. Just a few more items. Just brace yourself because this wine is getting to me, honey, and it's giving nap time. Okay, I don't know why, but this wine is making me sleepy. I picked up this beautiful, beautiful Chanel lip gloss. And this is in the shade 716. When I tell you this mauve shade is super beautiful, you guys. Like, I love. This also has like a big doe applicator as well. This lip gloss is bomb. I've actually been wearing this gloss lately with just a lip liner. Like a dark, deep lip liner. And it's so beautiful. I haven't needed any lipstick or anything to go along with it. It's been beautiful absolutely by itself. And there's really no smell, which I actually like. But this one is definitely worth it from Chanel. So make sure you guys check out their lip products as well. My first little Chanel. -y. I picked up this Dior Lip Maximizer. And this one's in the shade 026. Um, I had the box, but girl, I can't remember the name of it. But it is a beautiful shade. It's like another mauve shade. But this one actually has like some shimmer or some glitter to it. And then I picked up this beautiful Sephora lip gloss, which is also like... Why all of these the same color, girl? Why? Please tell me. This is a nude shade. It's leaning more towards a true nude versus the other ones now that I'm looking at it. Um, the other ones are kind of like a mauve. This one's like a true nude. I'm sure this one will be really, really pretty with just a lip liner as well. And this is in the shade 02. It's their Outrageous Plumbing Effect Glosses. And I think it's their XXL lip glosses or something like that and you guys know i have already tried the l'oreal skin tint hyaluronic acid um skin tint so i wanted to try this one from maybelline because i felt like that one was actually breaking me out and this only has vitamin c in it i think my skin does not really like a lot of hyaluronic acid i know it's super moisturizing has great benefits to it oh i just bit my jaw but my skin don't like it so i just wanted to go ahead and try this one out and i got it in the shade 355 I also picked up, I ordered these pumps from Amazon and I have one more and I'm just going to stick it in here because I love the whole packaging. It's super cute for marketing, promotional purposes, advertising purposes, but functional and the way things been going on in my life, honey, me breaking stuff and stuff breaking down, I need to go and put the pump on there before I be buying myself a whole new wardrobe. I can see it now. Okay. Cause I thought I was God's favorite. I thought I was God's favorite, but I guess not because all of this stuff that's been going on, listen, okay? I know I am, but all this stuff going on, it ain't, it ain't gave that, okay? It ain't gave that. And lastly, I just picked up this uh, Mascara Trio. It's from Maybelline. It has the Falsies Lash Lift, the Sky High Mascara, which I've been loving. And it also has the Surreal Falsies. This is the one I've been wanting to try forever, and I'm so glad that I now have it in my collection, and a mini at that. And I also don't have to worry about it going bad as often or as quickly because it is a small one. And nine times out of ten, I will use it up a lot faster. Y'all, that is pretty much it. I just wanted to talk to you guys real quick hopefully this video wasn't too long once again thanks so much to Anna Louisa for sending me over honey all the it girl pieces check out their website you guys they have so much going on over there happy new year happy new year I'm super excited for my birthday I am ready to go ahead and start a new vlog now that I have my new memory card I'm pretty much just waiting on my new camera to come in and once that come in my life will totally be complete so 
let's try again to go edit this for the third time that's all that i have to say i love you guys so much thank you guys for continuing to follow me on my journey here on youtube as always and just my life in general honey because life be life and y'all already know i love you guys wishing you love peace prosperity abundance all of that cheers to 2024 see you guys next time